All right. Putting this stuff down, I'm using a four inch knife. Not even that. It's like a three. And it's a pretty stiff blade. It's not anything I would want to run mud with. This is pretty stout. And I just run my knife sideways like that. Push it down in there and then wipe it off. And then grab the excess linear crossway. Just like drywall mud. Fill up, I got one worm hole. Got a little piece missing off the corner of the board. This is all prepped before I sand. And I rented a, uh, cause this floor looks pretty decent, but I don't know if I made another mistake by getting an orbital. But I got, uh, I'm thinking I could do this floor with an orbital sander. But it's good for the wood filling. Boy, it's some brutal stuff out of the back, out of the bucket. It's uh, not toolable. You gotta add water. And you gotta really work it to mix it up because it's just like Virginia clay to mix. It's, it's not something you're just gonna add water to. Water is gonna bounce off of it. And, uh, but it's workable. It just takes determination. And you just run it just like that. Linear, packing it down in there because I'm putting pressure down as I go sideways at the same time. Down and sideways. Down and sideways. Now there's a grinder right there. That's going to have to a little bit taken off that. I got about uh, maybe 250, 300 square more feet in patch like this. Get that. I did most of it already. And uh, I'll be going over it with that orbital. And if the orbital won't work, I'll be taking that. Just got it for the, I said I wanted it for two days, but they gave it to me for the week, which is 270 bucks for the week versus about 60 for a day. And I'm definitely not gonna need this for the whole week. Because if this thing ain't working on the first day, I'm gonna go get the drum, which I really don't want to use a drum for the reason is I've got a radius and you gotta run that stuff straight. Can't be changing and going around in circles with it. That drum going in straight lines parallel with the drain. So I don't want to get a bunch of gouge marks going cross grain, trying to miss the radius. That slew trim that I got down there. Anyway, this is uh this is man, I'm really pushing hard. I had to wrap my finger with tape. That's not anything I've ever done pulling a knife before. I've run quite a bit of mud, but this stuff's hard to work. Takes a lot of pressure to push it in there. But that good filler wood filler. I started another video, but I always touch the screen and it cuts itself off. But that good filler wood filler. And I got this in red oak. That stuff is just like Virginia clay. It says add water if needed. Yeah, you definitely need to add water on that stuff. That ain't no joke. It's not creamy, it's not thick like pancake batter, it's like clay, straight up. But once you get a little water into it, it's toolable then. You're not gonna use it straight up, that bucket, no way in hell. Later.